Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Sydney, and we're the co-owners of Third Space Arcade Lounge. We started about four years ago as a pop-up uh, arcade. So we would bring uh, video game consoles to different places, bars, breweries, and just be vendors uh, for them for the night. Uh, that led to us believing that we could hold our own in our own space and really wanting to hold our own in our own space. And so over some time, we were able to build up our clientele and build up our um, equipment and we purchased the space. So we started in 2018 um, doing pop-up arcades, uh, but we knew that it was more than just the gaming. It was about people getting together, um, building community. And so aside from just wanting to pop up, we did want to host a space of our own um, so that we could have people you know, meet, converse, um, and then open up the doors to other opportunities um, and involve the community. So artists, um, we have family hours on Sunday, um, and we are an event space as well. So we'll host a variety of um, events, open mic. We've got um, artist nights. We have um, different tournaments, um, and it's a really great place for people to get together and have a good time. It wasn't a straight line to get here. Uh, we a lot of starts and stops. Uh, it's interesting the story that got us here. I started off working in a school uh, in New Haven, um, an alternative school as like it's an adjunct professor, tech teacher, um, and that really inspired me to continue my work in the community. Um, and so one of the things that we're proud to be able to do here is provide a space for additional types of learning for students. You know, we'll be partnering with some local high schools in the near future um, to bring students down who might not have a good go of it at school to introduce another way of learning via virtual reality, more one-on-one -on -one training in an environment that might be a little bit more comfortable for them. So the idea for this space was we wanted to make an adult themed lounge for adults to come and chill out and not necessarily have the same vibe as a club or a bar, um, a place where you can genuinely just relax. Uh, we found that missing, you know, my peer group, uh, like I'm 38 years old next month, um, we always hear people say, I wish I could just hang out like this, participate in things in this way. Uh, so we wanted to provide a, that space for people. Um, aside from that, we've also opened up our doors and our walls for artists, uh, our space for musicians. And so when we were building this space, we were very conscious of the fact that we wanted to leave space on the walls. And there's some space here that's being taken up right now by a local artist. Uh, downstairs in our lower level lounges where people have been doing live music from hip hop to rock and roll, uh, punk, things like that for people oh. to really folk, <laughs> for people to really um, express themselves uh, in, in a very intimate format. So we've had a lot of different um, ideas over the years. We're both creatives in our own right. Um, and a lot of the things that we've wanted to um, host and put on, uh, we were having a hard time finding a place to host those things for us or the cost was just so outside of our reach. Um, we're having this space, we were like, you know, if we just had a space to call our own, we could do whatever we wanted to do. And so it's kind of been uh, the universe's challenge, as it were, to do whatever we wanted to do. So part of our community outreach um, is hosting a craft project, community craft circle called Rewild the Women. So that's on select Sundays uh, here at Third Space um, during our family hours. So the idea is that we're reaching out to the community, um, primarily women, but all those who'd be interested um, to connect over crafts, reconnect over um, some slow hand making uh, techniques, and then to reconnect and restore our relationships with each other and to some of the crafts and things that you know sustained our community. So that's something else that we offer. And the idea is that if the barrier to entry for parents or to anyone wanting to do these things who may have children, um, if Childcare was a barrier. The idea was that they could come here on Sundays during family hours, participate in crafting, um, and their kids would also have a place to, you know, entertain themselves and maybe keep themselves out of their parents' hair, um, but in an environment that's conducive for everyone to be together. So that's something else that we offer, and you know, we hope to roll out more programs like that to include co-working, 
um, to include artist development and that kind of stuff. And that's just gonna take time, but as people come down and introduce themselves to the space and get used to us being here, we'll be able to um, you know, really roll that out in full force. We're a one-size-fits-all space, um, and as he as he mentioned, you know, um, electronic gaming is his forte. That's that's where he comes in. Um, he's a console gamer. I'm more of a PC gamer. Um, but we do have a little bit of everything for everybody, from card games, board games. Um, hopefully, we'll be doing some Sims-related things in the space, um, and then we've got the console games and arcade lounge, or the stand-up arcade. So a little bit of something for everybody. One size fits everybody. <laughs> However you like to game, you can do it here. That's really the end of that one, right? However you like to game, it can be done here. Third Space Arcade Lounge is located at 410 Blake Street, and we operate Thursday through Sunday, 6 to 11 for 18 plus, and on Sunday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. for uh, family hours.